Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 21st, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to a live update here, your daily do, giving you your space weather update as well as a look at earthquakes and world weather. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. This is something different. Have not done this for a while. I want to welcome all of the mods in here tonight. Stan, thanks, Stan. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Violet. Thank you, Melody. Welcome, everybody, to this live update. We're looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as it did just produce an M-class solar flare in an Earth-facing position. You're going to see it right here, equatorial region coming from the one of six sunspots that were in, in Earth-facing position. We also had a pretty large plasma filament lift away from the sun, watching here in the northern hemisphere around the pole. It's going to leap up, lift away, and fall back into the sun. And then a huge equatorial plasma prominence here. And then right after that, some Earth-facing action with a large M-class solar flare. Thanks, everybody, for checking in. Hello, David Gamer. Hello, James. Hello, Dean Hill. Hello, Rosemarie. Hello, Holly Smith. Hello, James Weber. Hello, Diana Dickerson. Hello, Roberta Downs. Hello, Beatles. Welcome, everybody, to this live stream, giving you an update on the M-class solar flare situation as it did produce a pretty large CME heading right at Earth. Happened right here in this region. Watch for it. Large M-class solar flare. Producing a pretty sizable CME. Having a look here at the ISPWA space prediction spiral. Showing a large blast coming right at the BEPI satellite and as well earth expected arrival date 23rd into the 24th so about 48 hours to 72 hours we're going to see this cme hitting us increasing the solar winds and compromising our magnetic field thanks everybody for checking in and saying hello in the comments section thank you mods for handling everything much love to you all and god bless Thank you so much. I'm grateful to have you watching tonight. So yeah, large CME on its way by the 23rd of April. Having a quick look at our, our magnetosphere right now. We have been hit by a couple pulses throughout the day. You can see there that one bow shock cosmic wave hitting our magnetosphere putting the pressure on our planet. At the same time, we're seeing an increase in earthquakes around the world. Sitting right now, 294 earthquakes across the USGS map. And some pretty decent earthquakes in a couple rare regions. Let's have a quick look here around the globe for the last 24 hours as we had a pretty sizable earthquake here in North Africa, Malta. Africa and as well well it was a 5.5 earthquake shallow depth and as well an earthquake just south of Italy south of Mount Etna we also had a sizable earthquake here Peru 5.5 Indonesia Philippines Papua New Guinea 5.2 there, 5.9 northern Indonesia towards the Dekono, in, uh, Dekono volcano. As well, a 5.7 earthquake here, the Indian Antarctic Ridge. And we've seen quite a few earthquakes here the last little bit. Heading from Africa and south into the Indian Fault Line and then into Antarctica. I think I may have put too many earthquakes in on this right now. I'm going to take a moment and say hello to everybody. Welcome, Star Child Venus. Hello, Ben Garcia. Welcome. Hello, Tracy Hege. Hello, VC. 
Hopefully I'm catching everybody. Thank you so much for checking in on this live stream right now, giving you an update on the M-Class solar flare situation, as well as earthquakes. Look at world weather. This is the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Lots of activity through Central America. Still seems a little bit quiet here in the Cascades, as I put out an earthquake warning video yesterday. Let's hope we don't get anything too serious. Having a look across the USGS map, we can get a closer look on where all these earthquakes are. North Africa, Malta, 5.5, as well earthquake here east of Mount Edna. Etcetera, etc. Italy. And then we get to Alaska where we're seeing things swarm. And moving down the Aleutian Islands. We're just going to wait for the uh, satellite imagery to show up. I don't know what's going on. 97 people in here watching right now. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is a, a live treat for everybody. All right. Having a look here. As we're seeing, it looks like another earthquake swarm towards the Tanaga volcano. Earthquakes eastward all the way into Anchorage and northward. Hello, Donna Garcia. Welcome. Nice to see you, my sister. Hello, Sage52. Hello, Sayoban McKenzie. Welcome to the stream. Wendy Fowler, good to see you. And yeah, wow is right. 295 earthquakes crossed the USGS map. And 23 of them have been here at the Tanaga Volcano. Aleutian Islands. Stay tuned tomorrow. Speaking of volcanoes, got the volcano activity report that will be coming tomorrow. And as well, planetary positioning for... We are now into, I believe, week 15... 2023, give you a full update on all active and erupting volcanoes and as well our planetary positions for everybody in our solar system. So that's our magnetosphere. We showed our M class solar flare and as well the large CME that is heading our way. Expected arrival date April 23rd. You can also see on Alaska 3 imagery, the large halo CME coming right at us. But wow, our magnetosphere has been taking a few jolts here the last few days. As I have been posting, keeping you up to date on all of the latest events on our sun. Having a look here at Lasko 3, showing the CME that lifted from the North Pole. You're going to see that jet across here, quite a bit of plasma density right there. And then watch all around this disk as you see all that energy coming away from this center. That is a full halo CME that is all heading our way. Watch for things to change here in imagery and as well of course space weather our solar winds will be increasing here over the next couple days we've got quite a few events that have happened on our sun and they're all starting to pile in now going to have a quick look at weather here as well give you an update on the situation or sorry the situation with our Air quality, the SO2 and ash clouds that is that has encompassed now the, the whole northern hemisphere, moving into England now and parts of western Russia, Siberia, even a lot of it heading back across Alaska over to Kamchatka. And 
forecast for the next few days. Quite a bit of this SO2 is going to be funneling down into North America. So heads up, air quality will be a little bit thick, you could say. 130 people in here watching right now. Welcome, everybody. This is an awesome live stream. Thank you so much for tuning in Friday Night Live. Hope you all had a great day. Stay blessed. Truly grateful to be here and grateful to have you all here. All right, let's have a quick look now at weather forecast for the next few days around the world. Starting over, look, look, starting overlooking North America as we have a low pressure system still trying to move across Ontario, bringing snow and as well rain here in Ontario, southern Ontario, snow to northern parts and into Quebec. Extreme weather funneling out of the Gulf states. Texas had some nasty storms there last night and the night prior, so thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. Still a large low-pressure system in the Atlantic, and it's set to organize three low-pressure systems into one in the long-range forecast here, so heads up, everybody. Just be ready. Northern Hemisphere is going through some drastic changes and we've seen it, I've been documenting it over the past six years here on YouTube. Other than that, no major tropical systems developing here in the long range forecast for the Atlantic, nor the Pacific, but huge low pressure system here in the Atlantic. Monday, you've got a Gulf low moving in here but it is not set to turn in into a hurricane or be anything too serious, breaking apart with the high pressure ridge. Lots of snow still falling across the west coast, northern parts of BC, Alaska. Snow still falling in Colorado, Albuquerque, New Mexico, long range forecast, higher elevations still seeing a lot of snow. Yes, that's right, Oklahoma as well. They had a few tornadoes. Thank you so much, everybody, for mentioning that in the live chat. Hello, John Huber. Hello, Lori A. Welcome. Hello, Michael Smith. Hello, Kim Sakaskas. Hello, Sandy Hardy. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Thank you, Mods, for handling the chat while I do this live update. Uh, providing that the internet is going to let me upload stuff here. Uh, does not seem like the animations are going to work here, but we'll be giving you a detailed weather forecast here over the next couple days after we give you a volcanic activity report, which will be coming tomorrow with the planetary positions. Keeping an eye on the CME that is headed our way and quite possibly seeing some more activity from the active six sunspots on our sun. Our sun, the big player in all of our world. Thank you again, everyone, for watching. Alan Mandel, welcome from New York City. Truly heartbreaking, the storms that have gone across the United States the last couple nights, and it is early, folks. We're already seeing record amounts of tornadoes across the U.S., record amounts of rare places seeing tornadoes. Next, it's going to be devastating hurricane season. So heads up, my American friends and f family from around the world, much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. We'll see you all next time. They'll be going live soon. Much love and prayers for humanity.
Bye-bye now.